Welcome. In this video, we're going to explain the survey creation and sharing options in depth. Before we begin, make sure you're logged in. For this video, we're going to assume you're familiar with the basics of survey creation. If you're unsure or need a refresher, please watch our survey basics video tutorial. After you've filled out the survey title and description and set up your survey options, please navigate to the survey questions tab. On the right hand side bar, you'll see several question types. Some of the more common and useful question types for surveys are the header, Likert, drop down slash multi select, and text field slash area. For longer surveys, headers are a great way to divide the sections. Currently, there isn't a way to break a survey into multiple pages, so these will serve as your default pages. They also let you add additional instructions or descriptive information in later parts of your survey. There are times while you're using the creator that the header and other options may look off, but what they look like in the creator isn't what they will look like in the final version. A little bit later in this video, we'll show you how to see what your final survey will look like after you fill in all the questions. The Likert question option asks participants to rate something on a scale. You can add more or less options to your survey and label each possible response to customize the scale to your needs. Drop down slash multi-select questions are best used for when you want people to choose from a list of options. It works exactly the same as the radio list group, but also has the option to allow multiple selections. Text fields and areas are essentially the same thing. The only difference is that text fields are intended for short responses and text areas are intended for longer responses. If your respondents would need more room to write out a response, we would recommend text areas. Otherwise, text fields are preferred. Once you've set up your survey and clicked the Save button, you can preview what your survey will look like. To do this, we should go to the Manage Survey screen. After, look for the Surveys tab on the left-hand side bar. Click on it, and then click on Manage Surveys from the drop-down. Locate the survey you want to preview and click the little eye icon to the left of the survey's title. If you wish, you can invite survey takers directly from the screen. This is a preview of what people will see when they take your survey. If you're unhappy with how the survey currently looks or flows, you can edit it by clicking the blank gray dropdown to the right of the survey and choosing Edit. Now that we've gone over different options for creating your surveys, we're going to discuss the various ways we can share our survey. On the management page, find the survey you'd like to share. Click the blank gray dropdown to the right of the survey title and in the Actions column. Now select the Invite Survey Takers option. You're now on the main invitation page for your survey. You should immediately title your survey because you'll be unable to invite people without a title. Unlike the first title you set while creating the survey, this title is what participants will see. After that, you should then invite people to take your survey. There are several different ways to invite people. To choose any of these options, select them from the gray dropdown towards the bottom left of the page. After, depending on which option you choose, you'll be able to select the group, event, or people from the dropdown to the right of the one you just selected. Once you've finalized your selections, all that is left is to click the blue Create button in the bottom right-hand corner. Upon clicking this button, your survey is live and the invited people will have received an email invitation similar to this one. In our next video tutorial, we'll discuss various ways to analyze the information you gather from these surveys in our survey data management video tutorial. A written summary of what we discussed is available in the description. If you're interested in watching any of these additional video tutorials, please click the title now. Thank you for watching this video. If you run into problems or have any difficulties, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact us.